Dear students, in the first part of the video lesson on Amigo Brothers, we have seen how Antonio and Felix lived together as two amigos in the same neighborhood who live and breathe the sport of boxing and the events that happened before the division finals of the Oscar Club. If you have missed the first part of the Amigo Brothers, please follow the link given at the top of this video. Now, before going to Tompkins Square Park for the match between Antonio Cruz and Felix Vargas, let's watch an introductory presentation on boxing. Fighting with the fists seems to come naturally to human beings. Carvings and paintings show people fighting with their fists. Over 5000 years ago in ancient Sumeria and over 3000 years ago in ancient Egypt. The sport would later resurface in England during the early 16th century in the form of bare knuckle boxing, sometimes referred to as prize fighting. It involves two individuals fighting without boxing gloves or other padding on their hands. Improvements began with the introduction of the London Prize Ring Rules in 1743. Improvement continued with the introduction of the Marquis of Queensberry Rules in 1867, which marked the real transformation of prize fighting into the sport of boxing. Matches would be held in a 24-foot square ring with 3-minute rounds and 1-minute breaks between them. A fighter who was knocked down was given a 10 second count and if he couldn't get up in time the referee would stop the fight. Boxing involves techniques for both attacking and defending. There are four basic punches in boxing the jab, the cross, the hook and the uppercut. First one is jab. The jab is a straight punch directly to your opponent's nose thrown with your left hand. the straight right hand the straight right hand is also called a cross it's a punch thrown directly to your opponent's nose hook there are two types of hooks the left hook and the right hook the left hook is a punch that you are throwing to the right side of your opponent's face the right hook is an exceptionally powerful punch that is thrown to the left side of your opponent's face the last one is uppercut there are two types of uppercuts the left uppercut and the right uppercut the left uppercut is a punch thrown with your left hand that travels up from the floor you are trying to hit the front of your opponent's face or jaw with this punch the right uppercut is a powerful punch thrown with your right hand that has tremendous power due to the rotation of your hips and shoulders the world has seen many great boxers muhammad ali is one of the greatest boxers of all time ali is a former three time world heavyweight champion and winner of an olympic gold medal mary kom is an indian boxer and the only female to become world amateur boxing champion for a record six times the only female boxer to have won a medal in each one of the first 7 world championships and the only boxer to win 8 world championship medals antonio cruz and felix vargas also have a dream of someday becoming the lightweight champion of the world now let's watch the second part of the amigo brothers and see what happens there at tompkins square park Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sports News. As you know, today is the big day that we are all eagerly waiting for. The division finals of the boys club is going to happen a little while from now. We bring you the latest updates from Tompkins Square Park, where the scheduled bout between Antonio Cruz and Felix Vargas will happen within a short while from now. Our reporter Mr. Jones joins us from Tompkins Square Park with the latest updates. Thank you Mrs. Green. Good afternoon viewers. Now I am standing near the Tompkins Square Park. As reported earlier, today we are going to witness one of the much awaited division finals between two amigos, Antonio Cruz and Felix Vargas. We could see large posters plastered all over the walls of local shops announcing the fight between Antonio Cruz and Felix Vargas as the main bout. 
The fight has created great interest in the neighborhood. Antonio and Felix are well liked and respected here and each boxer has his own loyal followers. The match will start very soon and people are coming in large numbers to witness this match. The fight is scheduled to take place in Tompkins Square Park. Now I could see here a beehive of activity is going on with numerous workers setting the ring, the seats, and the guest speakers stand. The scheduled bouts will begin shortly and the park is almost full in the afternoon itself. The waiting time is almost over. The bout will start at any time from now. I think we can directly go to see the live action from the Tompkins Square Park. Ladies and gentlemen, now is the moment we have all been waiting for. The main event between two fine young Puerto Rican fires. In this corner, weighing 134 pounds, Felix Vargas. And in this corner, weighing 133 pounds, Antonio Cruz. The winner will represent the boys club in the tournament of champions, the Golden Gloves. There will be no draw. May the best man win. The cheering of the crowd shook the window panes of the old buildings surrounding Tompkins Square Park. At the center of the ring, the referee was giving instructions to the youngsters. Both youngsters touched gloves and nodded. Felix and Antonio turned and faced each other, squarely in a fighting pose. Felix wasted no time. He came in fast, head low, half hunched toward his right shoulder, and lashed out with a straight left. He missed a right cross, as Antonio slipped the punch, and countered with three lefts, that snapped Felix's head back, sending a mild shock coursing through him. If Felix had any small doubt about their friendship, affecting their fight, it was being neatly dispelled. Antonio's left hand was like a piston, pumping jabs, one right after another with seeming ease. Felix bobbed and weaved, and never stopped boring in. He knew that at long range he was at a disadvantage. Antonio had too much reach on him. Only by coming in close, could Felix hope to achieve the dreamed of knockout. Antonio knew the dynamite, that was stored in his amigo brother's fist. He ducked a short right, and missed a left hook. Felix trapped him against the ropes, just long enough to pour some punishing rights and lefts to Antonio's hard midsection. Antonio slipped away from Felix, crashing two lefts to his head, which set Felix's right ear ringing. Felix walked briskly back to his corner. Antonio gracefully danced his way toward his stool. Felix was off his stool, and rushed to Antonio like a bull, sending a hard right to his head. Antonio, hurt, sent back a blurring barrage of lefts and rights, that only meant pain to Felix. Felix bobbed and weaved, bobbed and weaved, occasionally punching his two gloves together. Antonio waited for the rush that was sure to come. Felix closed in, and fainted with his left shoulder, and threw a right instead. Rights to the body. Left to the head. Neither fighter was giving an inch. Suddenly, a short right caught Antonio, squarely on the chin. His long legs turned to jelly, and his arms flailed out desperately. Felix, grunting like a bull, threw wild punches from every direction. Antonio, groggy, bobbed and weaved, evading most of the blows. Suddenly his head cleared. His left flashed out hard and straight, catching Felix on the bridge of his nose. In a fog, Felix heard the roaring of the crowd, who seemed to have gone insane. His head cleared to hear the bell sound at the end of the round. His trainer sat him down on the stool. In his corner, Antonio was doing what all fighters do, when they are hurt. They sit and smile at everyone. The referee signaled the ring doctor, to check the fighters out. He did so, and then gave his okay. The cold water sponges brought clarity to both Amigo brothers. They were rubbed until their circulation ran free. Round 3, the final round. Up to now it had been tic-tac-toe, pretty much even. But everyone knew, there could be no draw and that this round would decide the winner. This time, to Felix's surprise, it was Antonio who came out fast, charging across the ring. Felix braced himself but couldn't ward off the barrage of punches. Felix tapped his gloves and commenced his attack anew. Antonio, 
throwing Boxer's caution to the winds, jumped in to meet him. Both pounded away. Neither gave an inch and neither fell to the canvas. They fought toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The sounds of their blows were loud in contrast to the silence of a crowd gone completely mute. The referee was stunned by their savagery. The bell sounded over and over again. Felix and Antonio were past hearing. Their blows continued to pound each other like hailstones. Finally the referee and the two trainers pried Felix and Antonio apart. Now, it is time for the announcement of the result of the match. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner and representative to the Golden Gloves Tournament of Champions is. The announcer turned to point to the winner and found himself alone. Arm in arm, the champions had already left the ring. No matter what the decision, they knew they would always be champions to each other. Good evening. Once again welcome back to Sports News. The division finals of the boys club has just concluded here at Tompkins Square Park. Mr. Johns once again joins us from the ground zero, where the thrilling bout between two amigos happened a little while ago. Hello Mr. Johns, could you please update with the latest news from there? Mrs. Green, the match has just concluded here at the park. Surprisingly the match had an unusual ending. As you have witnessed, it was really an exciting match between the Amigo brothers. Neither gave an inch, and neither fell to the canvas. They fought toe to toe. Towards the end of the bout, the referee was stunned by their savagery. Even after the final bell, announcing the end of the match, Felix and Antonio continued to pound on each other like hailstones. Finally, the referee and the two trainers pried Felix and Antonio apart. Everybody was wondering, whether it was a fight to the death, instead of a boxing match. But the fear soon gave way to wave upon wave of cheering, as the two amigos embraced. But the most beautiful sight of the match was yet to come. When the announcer turned to point to the winner, arm in arm, the champions had already left the ring. Really it has turned to be an exhibition of true friendship winning at the end. Nothing could make a dent in their friendship. This is Mr. John's reporting for Sport News with cameraman Tony Andrews. Oh. 